some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Missouri with SC Press as he is attempting to get, get into a courthouse and file complaints against another business that booted him out. But you know what? He gets kicked out of the courthouse before his trouble. And the poor guy wants to file more lawsuits over it. Oh, poor little guy can't catch a break. Oh, poor little thing. Well, we're not going to really feel too sorry for him, considering we're just going to sit back, relax, and laugh at this poor guy's misery. Restricted access, we won't go past that. Can I help you? Uh, yes ma'am, can I get some complaint forms please? There's nothing worse than hearing a grown man cry about nothing. Getting kicked out of a building because of, well, what he did to begin with. I mean, do us all a favor and grow up, little boy. No, I just, I need to fill out some complaints with my attorney. I need three complaint forms and two sunshine requests, please. Okay. Um, I can give you a piece of paper and you can write your request down as far as that. Would that be okay? Well, I got that at home. I can do it at home, I guess. If you want to do that and bring it back in, that would be fine. Okay. No, y'all don't have complaint forms readily available for the public? No, that's an intimidation tactic, and we won't put up with that. I just need a... Hmm, intimidation tactic, huh? Uh, what, do you have something to hide from the officer? Maybe it's that you've got a guilty conscience about all this frauditing? Um, uh, maybe, maybe not. So, boy, why don't you try to grow a pair and not be so intimidated by the officer who's actually trying to do his job? Do you have statement forms? Okay, well, see, that's an intimidation tactic, and that's got to end. Uh, you don't have officer complaint forms here? Uh, no, well, see, that's an intimidation that tactic, and that's got to end. Uh, yes, ma'am, what's your name? Uh, Polly. All right, thank you, ma'am. Do you have a badge number? Oh, by the way, if you want a little refresher on uh, what happened to this guy a while back, this guy was in the front of a dispensary the other day and ended up meeting the wrong guy. And, well, he ended up with just a scratch, though, uh, after the guy socked him. And guess what? The police couldn't really help the poor guy out because, well, he was pretty much the instigator in the whole thing. A little longer than a few minutes later. Lovely. We know this guy. Cell phones you... not allowed in the building, sir. It's a public building. It's posted on all doors. Cell phones not allowed in the building. Let's see if there's a um, MODOC. That's a sign, sir. That's yes, a that is a sign. This is no Don't raise your voice with me. Leave the building. Yes, that's a sign, dude. And yes, there are restrictions inside of courthouses but i know you're gonna say there's no statute listed on that sign but hey these are signs too and guess what none of these signs have statutes listed on them either but i'm willing to bet that you'll stop at a stop sign because you know that it's dangerous not to do that or are you just going to argue that stopping at a stop sign is unconstitutional because it isn't mentioned in the Constitution to begin with? Well, if that's the case, there's just no accounting for your stupidity. Let's carry on. 
Will you arrest get me if I don't? Get the cell phone out of my building. All right, I'll leave under get duress. Rest. I'm going to file a 1983 case on you. Take the cell phone out of the building. Or what? You've been told before. Or what? Will you arrest me if I don't? Sir, you need to leave. For, for what my reason? Court, my court rule, cell phones are not allowed in this facility. You need to leave. For what reason? Because I'm telling you to. Oh, is that? Are you refusing to leave? No, I'm not okay, refusing. Okay, you can leave or you'll be placed under arrest for trespass. Okay, that's all I needed. You got it. Thank you. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Michael Carter, badge number 150. You have a nice day. How do you like your video? You're becoming famous. Watch for it on YouTube. Yeah, turn around, walk back in there, get back to work. You know, it's completely understandable why there are no electronic devices allowed inside of courthouses. But that's plain and clear to me. But these fraudsters, they just don't seem to get it. I mean, you got uh, concepts such as attorney-client privilege and other security measures that go on in a courthouse. But yet, they think that it's their constitutional right to record inside the courthouse, despite the fact that there might be sensitive information that gets out into the public that's not supposed to be out in the public that will compromise a lot of cases. But, but, but no, their, their, their court cases don't trump my First Amendment right to be in there to record their uh, whatever. There you have it, y'all. Tyranny in action. A rule is not a law. A rule is not a law. This is a public building that we just got trespassed from. Trespass from public property. That's a 1983 case. I'm not in there. I'm out here. You're recording inside this facility. That's I can see. You can are you over there and record all you want? Are you familiar? inside this facility. Are you familiar with plain view doctrine? It never ceases to amaze me the stupidity that uh, you frauders have when it comes to the ability to do research, proper research anyway. If you would even bother to do the tiniest bit of research and look these concepts up and actually do some studying maybe you guys would have at least passed high school maybe you would have gotten into college but no you don't put in that effort and therefore you don't even you fail to understand that even the plain view doctrine goes against what you say it is it is for police uh, investigations you moron get that through your head and go out and learn how to do proper research and studying all right that's all I needed he threatened to arrest me tyrant Tyrants. There you have it, folks. Trespass from a public building. That's unlawful. It's a 1983 case. Dude, uh, you just can't say, oh, it's a 1983 case. That is rather vague because, well, there are thousands of cases around the country that happened in the year 1983. So you might want to get more specific on that. Oh, yeah, and for the record, uh... Yeah, other than citations, I know for a fact that, uh, and I've proven this on many of my other videos, that you can be trespassed from public property. So, why don't you get your head out of your ass and take a look at how the world really works, because it sure as hell doesn't revolve around your, uh, brown-stained view of the world. Well then, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.